Perhaps one of the most crucial reasons behind why a portable toilet cleaner is the least motivating job from a biological perspective would be how it decreases their overall likelihood of falling in love and or reproducing. Our textbook talks about the reward pathway and how humans are motivated to perform actions that produce positive feelings. This same pathway regulates emotions such as love and is believed to be involved in the activation and reinforcement of such behaviors. When we have sex and or fall in love, endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin are released along with other chemicals that produce feelings of euphoria. These reward signals activate our behavioral activation system, which further enhances arousal. Unlike the behavioral activation system, our behavioral inhibition system is activated by signals of non-reward. Therefore, the behavioral inhibition system will be activated more frequently for those who work in the portable toilet cleaning industry. The evolutionary perspective states that the pleasure we experience from having sex and falling in love is our body's way of encouraging us to engage in these behaviors. The ultimate goal of these behaviors is to produce offspring and ultimately ensure future gene survival. Both men and women look for partners that presume to be healthy. Portable toilet cleaners are exposed to toxic waste, bodily fluids, and harmful cleaning chemicals on a daily basis. This can interfere with their hormones and have negative impacts on their health. Even though portable toilet cleaners use a vacuum wand and tank to suck up the waste, hoses often get clogged and mistakes can get pretty messy on the job. Hygiene is often seen as an indicator of health. It can also hint to a person's financial status. Portable toilet cleaners are not likely to be described as having good hygiene, seeing as though they spend their days either covered in or working with feces. Since being a portable toilet cleaner is a male-dominated job, I think it is important to know some long-term female mating strategies. According to Buss and Schmidt, women are found to prefer men of greater social status who have good financial prospects. While being a portable toilet cleaner will not bring a person great status, the pay is surprisingly decent. However, regardless of the fact that portable toilet cleaners make $50,000 a year, most people are likely to presume otherwise. Seeing as though one's annual salary is not typically brought up upon introduction, let alone at all, many people may over overlook their financial sta stability after hearing that they clean portable toilets for a living. This, along with the other factors mentioned, causes portable toilet cleaners to be perceived as less suitable partners.